Hi friends, I am going to talk about the uh, Monte Carlo simulation and this is a part of my VBA for financial engineering course. For more details you can check out my website, it's uh, qcfinance.in. Uh, before we move ahead, I am going to give you some outline of what this Monte Carlo simulation is. And this is of course a very broad term, you could use this in the stochastic calculus world. Uh, for different models uh, including Brownian motion including those which are mean reverting or which have got uh, uh, those uh, jumps or, or a lot of th or for a lot of things but uh, in, in this uh, video we are going to look at a very simple introduction of what uh, Monte Carlo simulation is so before I move ahead I'm going to talk about what we are trying to do here now when we have some historical data, suppose we have got uh, sales of companies, sales that a company is doing and uh, we have some historical values, assuming this is not seasonal and this is the sales, this is the time. And if you remember the, our old regression model, we will draw a line and say that this should move something like this because this is the best fit line. In the Monte Carlo simulation, we are moving ahead and we are saying that uh, the sales can of course take this path but uh, the deviation that we are going to receive here at t is equal to final point so we could land up we could land down and we're trying to link this deviation with this residuals so so that's our uh, first intention here as, as we move ahead, as we do processes like uh, uh, geometrical Brownian motion, we are going to just uh, add a few more things here. So I, I have used a regression, a simple linear regression here to depict uh, the base case here. And we can add more complexity and move to uh, Arima 010 where uh, uh, we will regress each point uh, with respect to the old point of the last quarter. And uh, we will uh, create something like... Uh, uh, a drift uh, plus uh, a kind of a deviation term so that's uh, the uh, Brownian motion but here we are going to remain at a sim uh, in a simpler uh, dimension so let's understand how to run this now as expected in our no normal analysis of the regression we'll get a straight line and we'll we can say that based on the historical data we land at this point and this is something that's that's quite uh, uh, that's quite uh, deterministic uh, or if I, s if I use some simpler words this is the final point that we can say that okay you're going to land here based on this regression line that we pointed which was the best fix in the Monte Carlo simulation we are going to understand how to deal with this projected part so we are going to use this line but at each point we are going to add some disturbance but since uh, uh, this line ends here so we'll have only two disturbance terms here so we can ignore the earlier part we can get the last point and we can add some disturbance and say that this is uh, somewhere where you are going to land contrary to this if we take another case where uh, each point is dependent on the last point then in that case uh, the paths would uh, work something like this but in this case, the path would, uh, in, this, in the base case, in the simplest case that I'm showing to you, the path would move just up and down. So let's understand how this is done. So before I move ahead, I'm going to uh, summarize what we are going to do. So I'll regress the old data and I'm looking for four points here. I'm looking for slope. I am looking for beta. Uh, I'm looking for the... Uh, 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 the intercept I'm looking for the past volatility or the past standard deviation and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for those residuals of the past so these are the four parameters of that regress line from a historical perspective uh, what I want to search once I have them uh, these data I'll uh, check out for some random numbers and I'll tune the random numbers and I'll uh, make sure that uh, I link with the past residuals with the future residuals because if you remember the residual is the part that we were not able to match in the past so we expect some kind of an 
डिस्टर्बेंस ऑफ द सेम काइंड इन द फ्यूचर देन वील फोकस्ड फ्यूचर विद दोज राइट रेसिड्यूल्स एंड वील ट्राई टू मूव दैट लाइन अप एंड डाउन आर रिग्रेस लाइन सो देन वील ऑब्जर्व पाथ एंड वील सी दैट वॉट एवर वी आर टेलिंग मेक सेंस ऑन नॉट सो दीज आर द फोर स्टेप्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट and 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 this is uh, the first exercise to understand how to build this uh, thing into the system now we have uh, to focus on two things here and uh, we, we we want to conclude two things here when we are done with this exercise one is the importance of random number and the distribution of random number that we pick from is is it related to some other residuals and things like that and uh, the other part is uh, how we analyze the residuals and how we take uh, those random numbers into the residuals and the, the other the whole new dimension that we are adding here is uh, the kind of uh, characteristic of uh, this line we could say that uh, uh, we would remove seasonality or we would use arima 010 that is regressing by t minus 1 or we could use another model which has jumps or has mean reverting parameter and things like that so th those those are the layers of complexity that we could add but here right now i am moving to a very simple model so on your screen on the left suppose this is our past data these are the sales of past and sale one year went with one it came up it came down and and we are assuming that uh, this would move uh, uh, in a straight line and uh, the information would be based on not just the last point but the whole historical point if i say the information is based on just la the last point then we are moving towards arima process or the uh, brownian motion kind of a thing but here i have regressed this so let me show you the first step so my first step is find out the slope of the historical data then my second step is find out the intercept of this historical data so once i have that this is my projected uh, uh historical data so if my line is right i should get something like this so if my line is right i should get something like this and both of this yellow data should match you might see that this is something close now since uh, the data is moving up and down you might assume that there is a seasonality factor which we could filter out but but th those are things that we are going to look uh, at a later point uh, right now we'll uh, ignore the seasonality part here if we had seasonality we will have uh, played around with this added a seasonality multiple and uh, would have those seasonal effect on our projected data but i am assuming that no seasonality uh, this data was expected to behave in a straight line we have got the best fit straight line and now what i have done is that i have uh, calculated the residuals or the part of the historical data that we were not able to explain i have collected those residuals here so this is really the difference between what we are able to explain with our simple regress line and something that that all actually happened in the past and this is like all the differences uh, of the historical uh, data for each point now what what i want to make sure is that when i draw a line and when i move ahead from the 11th point up to 16th point or later i want to make sure that i have these residuals uh, uh being used there or some kind of this, uh, some kind of uh, the same idea being used there so what i did was i calculated the standard deviation of this residual i calculated the average of this residuals and just to check i calculated the sum of this residual this is what i did now i have to generate uh, projected residuals which i am going to use for all the models so uh, th this is the projected residuals and you have to be careful about this formula this is really a tricky part here so this formula i am going to paste it for you so this formula would give you uh, uh normal distribution with a mean uh, 1.1 or whatever that we are looking for with a standard deviation of 2.09 so this is our uh, uh, residuals that that we are looking for if you observe these residuals these are like uh, quite close to what's happening 
2.03-2.09 average average is a little bit on the off side but uh, the other idea seems to make a lot of sense okay once we have these residuals with us there are other ways to actually f make this in a better way but this is the whole idea we want to project a, a world of residuals that we could use in the future we would have used in the future now I go to my parts so if I used uh, the equation that we have I should land to like uh, 22.2 and this is the uh, uh, the base case or the straight line that that I should uh, I should have but uh, if uh, if we have these disturbance linked into uh, the regression line if you observe this equation what we are doing is that we are projecting this or this is the same as 16 and we are adding a residual that we just calculated from the matrix so I, I have added all the residuals here so that whatever I get in the future has that residual part impacted and, and when I get the future I have taken an average to find out the different kind of uh, uh, world that I could land into so this is uh, uh, 21 and I'm expecting uh, something like 22 from my C uh, regression line if I if I run this many time then uh, then probably I could uh, get different uh, numbers now what's interesting here is that this value is not dependent on the value of the past because this is not arima 010 this is just a regression line so our our focus is on only this line for now so this is our line that we want to focus so in 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 this world with those residuals coming into play we have a mean of uh, uh, 21.56 whereas uh, the expected value from uh, uh, the old ways regression line is uh, like 22.78 so this is the old way regression line or oh, sorry 21 this is 17 so we don't have that here let me just check this okay so it should be 21 so this is even this is the way in which we want to look at so this this is quite close if you observe these are not coming into play these are just the ways uh, or a pictographic view and this would converge if i was using arima 010 then i i was supposed to uh, regress this with the last year to find out arima 010 and find out uh, uh, the same paths for uh, a brownian motion kind of a thing so the idea is same we'll have more path rather than 6 we'll have like uh, 1000 path and we'll see where we are landing so uh, all of this depend on the kind of assumptions that uh, you have made I've assumed that uh, uh, the data should be fixed with a regress line if you assume that uh, the historical data does not make sense and if you want to say that uh, let me save this for you So if you want to say that uh, uh, it, it follows a geometrical Brownian motion so you just want to have a drift and you want to have a disturbance if you want to use this then it, it would remain the same the only thing is that you'll regress uh, just one step ahead so rather than f fixing it uh, or uh, finding the regress line you'll just uh, have these sales one two five seven nine whatever one two five seven and you'll regress this these two and based on that you'll again get the alpha beta the standard deviation then you are going to calculate uh, the residuals and so 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 that was it uh, the whole idea for the uh, Monte Carlo simulation this is a uh, a very crude introduction I'm not going into the technicalities here so this this would serve as a very uh, basic introduction on uh, what we are trying to do for uh, uh, the Monte Carlo simulation session for uh, the course in, in 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 if you go into the more details then uh, we'll have ARIMA 010 process or ARIMA XYZ process or we could have like mean reverting 
or something with drift and so on and and we can solve all of them and the other world is that all those stochastic uh, equation are also solved in the same way in excel uh, in the simplistic way so uh, uh, we would build on upon those things uh, in 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 our uh, next class and uh, uh, i will take it from there i hope this was helpful for you thank you for listening and do give me your feedback bye bye